Okay, so I've had a few people ask me about um, tracing the Zentangles that I've been posting the time lapse videos of me weeding, and I'm not I'm not a tracing expert by any stretch of the imagination. I don't trace photos. I don't trace um, multicolored stuff. This is pretty much all I do. Um, and I just, I just do these projects for myself. They're not anything that I'm trying to sell or make any money off of. So, um, I'm not worried about everything being perfect. So, um, I went to Google images and found some files. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge in one of these files. Um, have a couple here. Let's, let's try kind of small. Let's try this guy. He's going to be pretty easy. Okay, so I just bring the image in to Silhouette Studio and then I open the trace window here and then select trace area and I just drag a box around the black area and you can see how it's yellow. I mean this looks pretty good. I could trace it just like that. So you would just hit trace and then I drag this off to the side, I click on the giraffe and I fill it in with black and I make my cut lines transparent so I can see what it looks like and I mean that's what that's what's gonna look like after it's weeded. So I mean that's it's pretty simple. That's all there is to it. That one was pretty easy. So let's try another one. Um, some of these are pretty small resolution. I'm trying to find something that may be a little better resolution. There we go. Um, and so again, I'm just going to select my trace area. And so you can see like these little sections right here aren't yellow. And so there's a couple, and I just, I literally just play with it until it looks good. There's no, if there's a, a rhyme or a reason or a, or a, um, a trick to it. I don't know what it is. First I play with threshold a little bit. Um, and I'm just trying to turn, like you can see there's still some black here. And you can go in and point at it if you need to. Um, but I literally just kind of bump this up a little bit at a time until it looks like all or most of the black has turned yellow. So that looks pretty good. I'll click trace and then I'm going to move this off to the side. Click on my whale and I fill it in with black again just so I can see what my my final outcome is going to look like. And I mean that's it. This one would be pretty easy to weed. There's a few little pieces. These little circles might cause a little headache. I'm right in here. These little circles might cause a headache. Um, down in here and you could go in and point at those if you wanted to in the grand scheme of things um, they're really not that noticeable when you weed them out uh, I know in the videos mine look like they're don't have any little flaws but they they have flaws here and there um, but you really don't notice them unless you're looking for them and so then I like, for, for just the, the point of weeding, I like to cut things as big as I can. And so since this one's wider than it is tall, I would just turn it to the side. And I would set my dimension. I go, um, lock my aspect ratio. I go just a hair under 12 inches. Um, and apply. And then... I use a 12 inch by 24 inch mat so you can just make sure you increase your page size so that it doesn't cut it off when it's cutting um, but I would just cut that and then weed it and that's that's really all there is to it. Um, it there's really like I said there's really not a lot to it I don't trace pictures of, of people and animals um, like actual photographs I'm, I'm not don't ask me questions about that because <laughs> I can't help you with that um, and I mean, that, that's pretty much it. The trick is to find 
um, you know, higher resolution photos. So let me see. Um, so if you go to images.google.com and type in like dolphin zentangle, um, and you're going to get a bunch of a bunch of choices if you click on tools size large and so that's going to give you um, items that have a larger um, dimension you can see like right here you can see it says 14 point 1415 by 1087 so that's going to be a higher resolution image it's going to be a higher resolution and that's going to make it easier to trace the end um, if you were doing something that if you do any size, see, you're going to get 550 by 346. Um, some of these are going to be pretty small. That's kind of small. It's going to be hard to trace. Um, these ones with colors and stuff, I don't even, I don't mess with it. These ones that are like pencil drawn with the shadings, I don't mess with it. Uh, so there's not, it's not like I've cracked some code or anything. It's just knowing what what to trace and what not to trace uh, or to attempt to trace some things are just they're just going to be too too complex it's not worth it um, but again you just go to tools size large and then i go to color and narrow it down by black and white even more because i don't want the color ones um, and you can just kind of go from there but i hope that helps you guys out and as always if you have any questions just let me know thanks